Yo, check this out. Y'all tuned in to another episode of the Midwest Slang. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy. I'm Mr. Let's Be Real. I'm with... Your boy Frank Nitty and this bitch. And today, man, I ain't... Y'all know how I do, man. I don't do the introductions. I let them introduce themselves because, hey, can't nobody show themselves out like themselves. So, hey, right. Let them right, know who you be. I'm Sarah B, a.k.a. White Girl, a.k.a. 574 White Girl, all that on the internet. I'm different. Yeah, okay, then. Oh, all that. You're me, <laughs> y'all. And then to my right, we got this your girl, Jatanya Petty, AK Just Petty. Okay, then. Man, real petty. We're going to get real petty today. Yeah. Real petty. the petty train. So, uh, before we even get started with all this, I'm going to get number one petty off of South Bend. Uh, Notre Dame lost a day. Fuck oh, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, Marshall. Let's hey. go. <laughs> hey, man. Don't, yeah, I don't listen to Buddy. Buddy. What, man? I'm gonna go party, you heard me? They lost, y'all. Okay, let's get it started, man. Go okay, on, man. What we doing today? How we doing this? What is a digital creator? I'm sorry, guys. Don't mind me. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Let's rock. You, you well, wanna go ahead? Um, yeah. My point of view of a digital creator is a person who make the digital content, you know, videos um, of whatever, you know what I'm saying? It can be eating, dancing, clothing, you know, so whatever. just somebody, yeah, just somebody who, you know, makes videos basically yeah okay. that's pretty much where i'm coming from it's a content creation it kind of goes hand in hand with being an influencer um it's pretty much just anyone who makes any type of content and you know releases it to whatever platform they're on some of them get paid for it some of them do it just because they love it but if you're creating content for the world to see then you're a content creator mm-hmm. So would y'all consider what we doing? Mid podcast a digital creator? This yes. is in fact That's content. Dope. Oh yeah. man, we digital <laughs> creators, bro. Hey, bro, yo, we just, hey, I, we got a new title, man. I love every title I get, man. I'm a digital creator. <laughs> you heard him? I'm more than just a daddy and a factory on a worker. Resume. <laughs> I'm more than just a daddy and a worker, man. I'm a digital creator. You hear how that sounds? Digital creator. That sounds right. That sounds crazy sound. though. A you title. Feel, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. That's all she said. All you know right. what I'm saying? She ain't. She wouldn't even. I like to add it. Digital creator and influencer. I like to, you know, because it makes me feel. It, it makes me feel special. I be yeah. influencing you people. Influence yeah, people. that's a that's a big deal. Yeah. I influence people. That's not a lot of they people look can up say to that. you. They yeah. look forward to seeing what content you're putting yeah. out there. Hopefully. Yeah, that's what's up. So, what made you guys start uh, creating content? I really wanted to take that dark, you know, piece of my history and turn it into something creative or something that helps people. So I started making music and just posting them on Facebook. And because I kept it real, I was talking about real struggles that people go through, but not everybody can make a song and post it on Facebook like I used to be a junkie, but I don't want to be one anymore. And I did, and everybody started following it, and it just just kind of... So was the recovery after the relapse? I never relapsed. I'm talking about Eminem album. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I kid, I kid, I kid. Mm. But you know, no, nah, Eminem, he dropped what? The Relax he Recovery? Yeah. Which one was I first? I don't know. See, I'm trying to ask. I'm, 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 hey, I'm being know. just petty a little bit. You know, right. just, just a little petty. Yeah. Just a little petty. You know what I'm saying? I think. But I got you, though. I just like, I ain't never fucking relapsed. You know what I'm saying? She's a motherfucker. I I ain't relapsed. I don't know what you heard. Okay. So what about you? What, how how did you become a content creator? From TikTok, I just started posting on Facebook. And from Facebook, hey, you be doing a dance. Digital creator, you know, all yeah. the dances, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, like, you know what I'm saying? All that. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? And they, I believe it's they going off your followers, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not the likes. So they seen that, you know, had a... And once you get that one little video that the likes go up there, yeah. you're like, oh, oh, this is blowing up. So it's like, I think I want to take time to dance more. Run the belly, dude. Right. I just think that you can be yourself and have fun, you know what I'm Straight saying? Up. And, and be petty. And be petty, you know. Living Facts. up to my last name, y'all. Right. Yeah, oh, that's your real last name? Petty. Damn. Petty. <laughs> the name is her name. Petty. Don't get it wrong. Made for it. And now you know. Her name is her name, man. Yeah. Don't get it wrong. You heard me. Tell us about your YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is just petty. You feel me? Um, <laughs> Just me living up to my last name. You know what I'm saying? Very Being petty. petty. That's all. Having a good time. I get it all the time. Girl, I know you can be petty. So, would we, like, type it in on our phone? Do we got to type it how you say it? Like, just petty. <laughs> See, you going to type it in like, like, like petty. No, just petty. Gotcha. Okay. Just when petty. I said it's gonna be just petty, yeah. you feel me? You know so I mean? just you know, you just don't know what you're gonna get. 
from the fashion to the dancing to the you know just playing with the kids, yeah. just you know having multi talent. Right? Multi talent. Everybody might even cook. Here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You I'm never know. All right. The videos. All right. You never know. What you gonna cook? What you anything. gonna cook? Though? Anything. You cook anything. anything. You cook anything. anything. Any and you get out. I get out. <laughs> Do you? I'm telling you. I mean, don't I ain't know. from here. Oh, ah, okay. Uh -oh. Where you from? Oh, so oh, they be cooking that shit. Let me tell you, let me know, I ain't cooking uh -oh. next. Uh -oh. All right, I got another question. Well, it's to you. So can you tell us about the five seven white girl? Five seven. seven I said five white seven. Girl. I don't. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm. I'm uh, I've been. Area, I've been though. drinking a lot of juice. <laughs> <laughs> so what you mean? Tell you about like my pages? What they're predominantly like? Or everything. Okay. I mean, fill us in about my pages or me. I mean, I guess Both. my pages are me. Yeah, um, it's you. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I it started with it started with Facebook. I was Facebook famous for a while, and everybody that's kind of, that was just where the white girl was, and a lot of people was like, "Man, I feel like you could blow up on TikTok. Do TikTok, do TikTok." So finally, during the pandemic, when I was bored as hell, just you know, locked in the crib, didn't have nothing to do, I made a TikTok, and that's where the five seven four came in because I had to put some numbers in there. And uh, and it just uh, it started slow at first. I you know I was ma mainly known for rapping and stuff like that, so that's really what I did. And then following the trends because that is really important in content creating. You do especially mainly for TikTok. You do want to make sure you're following the trends so that your page keeps growing. Um, but it didn't. I didn't. I mean, I had worked my way up to probably like a hundred thousand uh, followers, and then I made a video in 2020, kind of breaking down. The Black Lives Matter saying for the people who didn't understand it or didn't want to understand, understand it, and it yeah. went super viral. Like 50,000 views was translated into four different languages. That's, yeah. that's actually the quote that I have on my shirt. You know, don't be mad that's that you don't up. have a movement. Be happy. You don't need one. And that, you know, that I got, I probably got another 300 some thousand followers over that. And then that kind of switched my page a little bit from just like rapping and, and singing and dancing and stuff to talking about some real life shit like that shit, really yeah. needed to be talked about and i mean it's sad to say but because i'm you know privileged and white people more people were listening and they was like man do this speak this talk about yeah. this so yeah now my content is a little bit of everything a little bit of music yes. a little bit of funny skits and acting a little bit of talking about real life shit so and do you dance yeah i do get some of your content i do okay. i love them um i'm always looking for people to do the dances with because it's always just me, me by myself but again that goes with following the trends you know you got to make sure you're you got to give the people what they want this your girl just I patty know. over here you feel me yeah, yeah. 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 patty said yeah. dance with yeah. The, the yeah. belly thing, is that what they do now? They do the belly? No, it's the hip. The hip? Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I don't move my hips. I don't, yeah. yeah, see, y'all won't move me there. I ain't moving no hips now. I ain't. <laughs> Actually, my sound right now is trending, and the dance that goes to it is trending. So okay. to the to the big mad, so we can get we can get to that, can do that if you want to. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Tune in. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna catch no. me shaking no hips. I can't do it. I'm not uh, supposed to, man. <laughs> you, you no, these dudes are my son. They he's shaking his hips. I was about to say they do. Oh yeah. man, you and them hey, videos get clouded. What? He, he, he going choke him out, bro. His yeah. videos is going, bro. Yeah. They going up there. I'm like, and it's a new thing, so I gotta no, be no. understanding of it. Nah, bro. He said no, bro. Because it's a little dude. I don't know him on YouTube because he. Popping and dropping. And just yeah, my son can't go too far. Like, yeah. he, but he kind of do though. For uh, me, everything too far for me. Right. So it's like mm -hmm. I gotta look at it from their eyes though. and be like, mm -hmm. all right, because he got a girlfriend. I take him to her house every yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? Park. And, and, yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> it's far. <laughs> man, yeah, yeah. man, this motherfucker said El Car. I'm thinking ten minute drive. <laughs> motherfucker, we drove him fifty eight minutes. I said that's the back of El Car. I'm like, bro, okay. we, oh, we even still in Air Car. My job yeah. closer. My job ain't even in El Car. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, it is crazy too that you said that my son be spending out of his girl. Bro. House. And I'm like, damn, I could never How old are they? How old are these kids we're talking about? Man, 15? Yeah, my son, 14. Yeah. But like she said, when it's trending, that's yeah, what that's what, yeah, because yeah, so back in the did. day, it wasn't none of that. Yeah. My mom, they was, though, like, uh. Who? Oh, uh, yeah, it well, wasn't, because we were climbing through wasn't. windows and yeah. shit. <laughs> I was sneaking in yeah. a lot of them. It wasn't no shaking in nothing. Man, shit. Man, you, you sneak out your house and ride that bike 45 blocks, and that window ain't open, and you like, man, Man, me on, and Meezy walked in a blizzard, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> For that? Like that? At that age? Man, nigga, we walked. Yeah, nigga. We, yeah. It was motherfucking. Oh, you think I don't know? Hold on. 14, 15, wasn't that that my yeah. 
Yeah. Nah, we but it don't nah, you know, a couple yeah, it was like around that age, man. We man, walked we from I'm finna tell you, we walked from the <laughs> from where where you walk from, man? Where you walk from, get the Ooh, it was a blizzard too, boy. We walked cold. from goddamn by the armory on the south side. By all the way to Lincoln Elementary in the it wasn't cold, it was a blizzard. Damn, damn. <laughs> Like, hey, that's, that's that uphill both ways uh, in the man. snow. No, that's that. I'm not using my hand tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. This is happening. This What's up, wrong with y'all, boy? I don't even think niggas was drinking back then. Oh, there they no, just cut out walking, sober freezing. Man, all my life, man. Funny as hell. Women got socks on their hands and shit. Peace, bro. <laughs> I know. Facts. Facts. Bro, I'm like, man, what can't the feel? Can't feel nothing. <laughs> I told a little nephew on the game, nigga, if, you, hey, you better listen to me, man. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be playing too Man, <laughs> you know, them blizzard walks yeah. made you. Got them shirts on deck, too, know. man. Yeah, get your Y'all want to grab one, man. Make sure y'all tap in. Tap you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We Hold just on. give y'all the vibe that you know y'all chilling with. It. You but got the, every hey, size you need. The motherfucking... I got big sizes, too, man. All the <laughs> big sizes. sizes. Like, what she say? My bad, Miss Betty. <laughs> All the sizes, All like she said. Mm-hmm. Are you signed to any label or crew or? Um, I'm not officially signed. I do heavily mess with in y'all the networking, dark, yeah, y'all in the br- dark records. You y'all, but you sign. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Without without yeah. the paperwork, that's that's definitely who who's been with me yeah, since yeah. day one. You know, shout out Benji Hardaway. That's my producer. Shout out my boy. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Yep, he is one of the biggest shout reasons why my, my music sounds the way the way it does for real. And then with all your. Digital content, you waiting on like while I'm not to come grab you, huh? Yeah, something. They be telling you, I'm low. I love you. Be waiting. DC young boy, no. Be waiting for D- real. What's his name? Hopefully. DC. DC young fly. Uh, young yeah. fly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, funny in the bitch too. Yep. It's coming. He be like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need somebody to do. Hey, as long as you got that 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 right uh, support system, yeah, you're gonna be good. Some genuine support. Yeah, genuine. For real. Yeah, what type of uh content gets you the most views? Well, people love Both drama. Well, people yeah. love drama, to be <laughs> honest. They, yeah, so the messy stuff, the messy stuff definitely, definitely popped off. And then, like I said multiple times, the following trends, especially on TikTok, because that algorithm, man, that algorithm is a motherfucker, and it will literally cut your video off. I, I got almost a million followers. I'll be looking at the video. It's sitting at 28 views. I'm like, hold on. Something ain't right here. But So you got to make sure you're following the twins, but people love messy. Messy. All right, look, man. I got two baby mamas. We gotta get on messy. All right, look. I got these two baby mamas and these little bitches. No, let me. <laughs> My bad for saying those, but I meant to say bitches. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I don't mean to call y'all bitches. Y'all call y'all unstable creatures. <laughs> yeah. So, so we gonna talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to your yeah, 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 it's your yeah, turn. Okay, yeah. Hey, don't pay attention to buddy. My baby mama don't deserve a second. <laughs> he gonna get us in trouble. Right. Um. I see with my content, I get a lot of views on food and my dancing. I do love watching food videos, so that makes yeah. sense. I love watching food. I put a video up, you know, think it's going to get some likes, it's going to get none. I put a video up of me biting a big turkey leg and it shot up. Damn. You know yeah, what I I'm saying? It's always the, the one like that don't get shot up. Like, you know, yeah. and I just did it. Yep. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. it. And I'm That's the I got ASMR. Some K views mm-hmm. on that bad boy yeah. real fast. There's probably a lot of hungry motherfuckers online. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that chicken is good as hell, bro. Share that turkey leg, please. <laughs> you got some people talking about they wanted some. You yeah. know, people yeah. talking about what was this video for. I mean, you get all different kinds of you know, comments. Because, yeah. like, uh, my thing would be like, I bet they all watch it because, like, when you hungry, Food shit gonna get you. That's why I be like, he said, try to have food before hungry. you get hungry. Cause you go That's to the store plan. hungry, That's a good plan. It's a you problem. go to the store hungry, you getting oh, yeah. so Don't much shit. That. That you like, man, I want this. I want this. Have like, so much snacks yeah. and not even one whole meal. You, know what you mean? got three parts. Ain't the four meal. different meals <laughs> can't put none of it together. Ain't, like, bro, man, you get home, take a couple bites and stuff. You mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? I grab the rest of this shit. Man, it's a fuck. Nah, let me quit. Okay. He ready to dance. Oh, shake a booty ass nigga. Ooh. Ooh. You should make a TikTok. I'm telling you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Shots fired. Hey, but no, that, you know what? That's what we can do at the end. Y'all go ahead and make a TikTok with T. Uh, I don't shake hips and shit, though. You ain't got to shake, shake no hips. For the bills, but I ain't going to shake no hips still, though. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I call my son. He gonna come here and do that belly rub and that shit. What's up with you in this belly rub? Oh, that's because that's what they do. That's they they do the belly rub. What is it? Sometimes. It's a dance. It's like ten different dances where they rub their belly. <laughs> they, they be shaking their hips Sometimes. and rubbing their belly. It's some shit. And they, yeah, you know what I'm talking about all the belly, over the belly shit, it. whatever. You know. <laughs> My son, you the hands are just in the area. It's just in the in area of the, the belly. Area. They just love the uh, belly. Like yeah. Michael Jackson was crotch. I'm There's not gonna belly. Point you. Is it hard keeping keeping all your platforms entertained? All the platforms that you own is it hard trying to keep them all up to par and you know keep up with your comments and all. That um, work? it can definitely it can definitely be a full time job, especially because I try to be as interactive with my supporters and followers as much as I can because that really does help your numbers. And when you reach a certain level. And all of the comments and all of the messages. So obviously I can't get to all of them, but I do have almost like a little schedule where I got to make sure I'm at least hitting all of my social medias, you know, multiple okay. times a day. And, and you know, the different Facebook likes different type of content than right. TikTok does. And then, you know, in, in, in Twitter, there's no community guidelines over there. So you could just yeah. post whatever really? you want. It's just crazy on Twitter. Oh, so Get me a Twitter have, account. Yeah, I, know, I'm just, I ain't got Twitter, but I'm going to get one. Yeah, literally no community guidelines. And as far as, especially from someone who gets, you know, censorship and stuff is crazy nowadays. So I get my videos taken all the time. I have my main TikTok page taken for a year and a half. And Dang. so, yeah, it'd be a lot. Oh, so you got two pages. I have four. <laughs> five, seven, four, white girl, five, seven, four, white girl, two, five, seven, four, white girl, three, and five, seven, four, white girl, four. That's all on TikTok. But that's okay. because Followers. I got up to 800,000 and then I woke up one day and my whole page was just gone. Should man. And I'm not even going to lie, man. The thug was crying. I was, because that had became my livelihood and mm -hmm. I was about to get from the content creators fund like almost $7,500, like one of my biggest payouts. And they took all my money, all my everything. Oh, I had like Papoose had just messaged me and now I'm like, bro. So it's good to make a back Page, yes, right? yeah, okay. and then and that is probably my biggest piece of advice to somebody who is thinking about it. Before your numbers start to get up there, make your backup. Post on it every once in a while. Make sure people know about it because you will lose your page. Everyone gotcha. does. Now, gotcha. you can get it back. It took me a year and a half of emailing to get it back for real, but they will. Yeah, hey, they shout will out to it. Pat Poos, man. Look, you, yeah. the girl, you hit on our shit, so man. you want to hit us now. <laughs> you want to hit us too. Yep, I fuck shit. with you, Pat Poos, for, for real, real shit, though. Okay. Like, And it be people that be like, you ain't that tight, man. I'll be arguing for you, man. Like <laughs> I've had real arguments about your flow, man. Like no, if you a, you know, if you a lyricist, uh, nah, if you know lyrics. real lyrical like rappers, Pappus, 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 Pappus is up there on my yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I ain't a East Coast fan, but I fuck with Pat. But he write for like, a lot of people too, though. Yeah. He said before Shout I pull up out. at the crib, I ride around the block. Like I, okay. I live by that, bro. I remember that because I live yeah. off of that, bro. Like for real, yeah. bro. I don't pull up to the crib without hitting the block because of you, man. Like. Because of you, you, bro. I'd be one. Yeah. You know what they what? He influenced you. Yeah. Okay. He's an you influencer. Yeah. You, gotta, you, know, yeah. you know what okay. I'm saying? You ride past so you the ride crib, man. Come back. You know what I'm saying? And then you pull up when yeah. they know. Like, Okay. And then so like, what if you ride past with somebody there? Who's gonna okay, move? then now that's how you see the move, right? Okay, so now so you see it. So now you can pull back up okay. or pack around or okay. get on motherfucking line depending on how it's looking. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So you just and you pull, pull up, up ready. Yeah, you just going to dump. <laughs> you, exactly. You already know. I ain't going to go into detail. Like, but y'all know what I'm saying, you know? When it comes to negative comments, how do you... Yeah, because it comes along with the territory, especially in today's day and age. You know, the Internet gives people a false sense of security where they will say things to you that they never in life would dream of saying mm -hmm. to your face. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing you got to remind yourself. If you're not saying it to my face, I'm not respecting that. That don't hold no weight, Shorty, because so you, I know if we were face to face, it would so be So do you call those, that. sorry to cut you, are yes, those the Internet gangsters? Yes, yes, okay. yes. You know, I Twitter just, fingers, exactly. those, the, those the pick me, you know, they just want to be seen. Um, you just got to understand that it comes it comes with the territory. I mean, people hate it on Jesus. So do you comment back or you just bypass? Listen, it's a, that's how I kind of, like I said earlier, they love the messiness. That is something that I am kind of known for. I'm trying to work on my turning the other cheek and being a bigger person is hard. And I, so I definitely do reply with a video uh, and I'll, I'll get to too. going. And I, sometimes I do it in a rap and I'll just destroy them. And sometimes I'll, you know, so it can be, it can be hard, but. Um, I just you just gotta you Stay just gotta positive. yeah you just gotta ignore it. That's definitely the key. Just understand that it literally happens to everybody. They don't even know you in real life. They judging you off of a off of a sixteen right, second right, you right, know right. video. And like I said, if it's not said to my face, it don't hold no weight. You know, if that person was right here right now, it won't be nothing mm -hmm. but oh, I love your content. Exactly. So that's what I remember. Do okay. do, do y'all start to feel like maybe like the way the world going now is almost a like. 
Like you say, they don't know you in real life. Y'all think it reached a point now where it's like if they know you on the internet, they kind of know you in real life. I was now. Ju- I'm actually, just saying, that like, is, is it like a separation a, now? Yeah, especially if you you're a content I mean? creator like me who puts everything yeah, out there. Yeah, you know there. what I mean? It's they like, low-key do They kind of really do know yeah. you in real life. You know what I yeah. mean? No, that's but all I'm saying. it's like, a difference. They don't really know you because especially with TikTok, it's not like Facebook where your news feed is all people you follow. Right. On TikTok, it's the For You page where anybody, Everybody. anywhere. Yeah, but so it might be somebody who, that's the only video of yours they've ever seen ever in life. Now your followers, the people who watch your content yeah, on a regular basis, they know, they, know they know you. Okay, they, they know you. That's what I was asking. That how one would y'all lonely ass hater that just happened to see you. Yeah, that one lonely yeah. ass one that seen you on the for you page and they, they were like oh girl do better yeah mm-hmm. okay then you gonna tell that person become a follower they can get to know yeah. you then that part, you know, I mean, my favorite thing to follow. do though I'm gonna be honest is to make people have to delete their whole TikTok and, and I've done it to like five or six people uh, I'd be like y'all just handle this for me and my followers will go yeah, to their page and start bonding bond oh. there and the next thing I know their whole TikTok will be gone damn, damn. Like, yeah. yeah I was told that's you know so at times your followers will fight your battle oh, for you oh yeah I got I most definitely. I've, had, I've seen a few of that on mine. Even when I don't, even even when I don't even ask them to or nothing, somebody will say something crazy to me and I have like 130 comments under it. Talk about, your bald-headed bitch, don't come in white girl like that. Like, so y'all oh, basically hey, just game-banging on the internet and sending the gang out. Like, Sometimes. I'm just saying, that's what it is. That's what it sounds like to me. You know what I'm saying? You got a problem with them, we send the gang and take care of it, shut them down. You know what I'm saying? Then they stop yeah. claiming it. It's an organization. That's what it sounds like, but you know, we ain't going to get into that because that might be, I don't know if you're supposed to do that. I think they call that internet bullying and you can get in trouble. Yeah. That is. Yeah, they take your page, that's what happened. You see happened. what I'm saying? That's what happened. I'm just saying. They took my you own know, page so, just for replying to the hate. You know, but so like yeah, she said, everything we said on here is hypothetical. Yeah, and alleged. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah, what they said. <laughs> <laughs> so what motivates you to make the content that you post for your followers to see? Um, it's kind of a good mix. Sometimes I just be scrolling and I see a TikTok that I really like the dance or I really like the beat or I, you know, and I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And though that type of content, like I do for me, cause I like that video. Cause I know, cause I have fun. And then other content, you know, I gotta, I gotta go off of like what they want and they will voice their opinions. Like we want you to remix this song. We, they'll tag me like white girl, do this dance, Sarah, do this. And so I you're go, open to that. You're oh yeah. Open to suggestions yep. from your followers on different yep. content. Okay. Even if it's. Stuff that I'm not really, you know, like some footwork okay. videos and stuff. I'd be like, well, I'm not the best, but well, I'll go. give yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it. Get up there, motherfucking put yeah. the cardboard down, get spin it around. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm Where trying to break it. Um, I don't know. I I think it just came from a, a. Eventually, I reached a point where I genuinely just didn't give a fuck what people thought about me. And when you reach that level. It's, it's freedom when you genuinely it's don't care there. how they yeah you can just you can just be yourself and for every two three negative comments I get I get a thousand more they're like you give me confidence my yeah. body is just like yours and you making me feel like I can wear that cute outfit I can hit that little dance mm-hmm. I can I'm not young I'm 36 years old lots of people are like I love that you were just in your age doing you doing what you like to do so that's yeah. what's up though yeah all right uh all right, check this out, man. I'm going to change the tone a little bit. I'm Mr. Let's Be Real, and I have a Let's Be Real moment every single podcast we do. You okay, know what I mean? Okay, okay. And I let it be known. You don't have to answer it. You know what I mean? Okay. But I'm serious question. I don't know if you answered it before already, maybe already on the internet type right. shit. Probably. But you but said go about ahead. the fear. Go ahead. You said about the way like you was on drugs type shit, mm-hmm. type black. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like. Like what drugs was you on, and like oh, what yeah. type of you know? I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, what, I, I know that could be sensitive. So, no, you know, it's not actually. It's it's I've, and I've talked about it a like, lot. What's because like some crazy shit? shit? What was your lowest? What and drug was it? And what made crazy you like? I gotta is, stop. Um, what's crazy is I'm kind of like the the example that addiction can touch anybody. I had went my whole life without ever doing nothing but. So smoking marijuana. I had never seen meth. I had never seen heroin. I was a stay-at-home wife and mom. Had two daughters. Like, and then before I know it, I had left my husband, divorced him. He started keeping my daughters from me, and then I met the wrong people at the most vulnerable time. And I started doing. I started out with meth, and then I fell in love with somebody who was doing heroin. And I had drawn that line. You know, I was like, well, I might do a little meth, and I didn't even really know what I was getting myself into because I had. None of my people were addicts. I had never really been around it. So I'm thinking, okay, I could do this a little bit. You know, kind of like some yayo. Have a good night. Yeah. The next day, it is not It is not like that. It is definitely not. It grabs a hold of you. And then I fell in love with somebody um, who was addicted to heroin. And I drew that line. Like, I'm never going to do that. But then one day, 
there wasn't any other drugs except for the boy. And I'm not about to, at this point, I'm an addict and I'm not going to sit there and just be the only one that's sober. So mm-hmm. yeah, I ended up doing it. And then that was even worse because the way that, that meth grabbed me, heroin just locked Took. in and so it lit like, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and at first it wasn't quite as bad because I was just like snorting it and I was trying to get the guy I was dating at the time to like not use needles to not shoot up like just snort it you know and then one day I I woke up and I seen him hitting himself and I said you know what I'm gonna show you what it's like to watch somebody you love put a needle in your vein and I had his cousin do it and I looked at him and he was crying and it's crazy because he's not even alive anymore he just passed away last year of an overdose so listen to me when I tell you that these drugs are for real but he was crying he said please don't do this you don't know what you're doing I'm still doing it because I can't stop but I'm so hard-headed, bro, and I'm so stubborn, and I don't got the sense God gave me, and I just flipped him off and was like, do it. But again, I did not know what I was getting myself into, and once I had shot it up like that, it was a wrap. Luckily, literally, by the grace of God, I can't give it to nobody but him. I only used heroin for about six months, and then I just celebrated my seven years sober. Actually, yesterday was What's seven so? years Congratulations. sober. Congratulations. Thank you so What's much. The, what made what led to that? Like, what was the down point? Um, actually, I, I had my, I was seeing my daughters at first. Every other weekend, I had them at my mom's house. But when you're doing those drugs, the days just kind of bleed together. And before you know it, like two weeks have gone by, three weeks have yeah. gone by, and you don't even you don't even know what's going on. So I woke up one day and I was living in a trap house, had hadn't seen my daughters in months. Everything I owned fit in one little duffel bag. And it hit you. And it actually my a friend of mine who didn't use drugs, who would like she drove a brake truck and at the end of the day she would bring us like leftover food to the trap house and feed all of us. She was pregnant. She didn't use nothing like that. And she went into labor at twenty four weeks and she had her son and her baby daddy was sitting at the table in the trap house with us and I just kept thinking about that low the picture I seen he was like this big and I started lecturing him like bro what the fuck are you doing here why are you here with us doing these drugs when you should be at the hospital with your son and then it just hit me like bitch what are you, what doing, are you doing here, here? Like, you where are your else? kids like what are you doing and right then right then Woke I was up. like nah this isn't this is not for me like my daughters deserve a mom who is sober and at her best and I came clean to all my peoples. I told my family. We literally went out, broke all my needles, threw them in the trash, and I made a song called Save Me where I it literally admitted to the world that I was an addict and I didn't want to okay. be anymore. And that forced me to hold Get myself accountable. And now the world knows, so I really don't want to fuck up. I really don't want to go back to it because everybody is watching me now. Like, yep, and the more people are like, wow, you too. got sober. Like, you're my inspiration. You're my motivation. The more that started coming, the more I was like, let me find out the man upstairs had a plan, and he put me through that little stint of addiction so that I could, because I was brave up. enough to talk yeah. about it. And now for in November, I will legally and certified be a recovery and addiction coach and counselor. So that's, you know, turn my darkness into something Big up. positive. Salute, salute, salute. Thank salute. you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Salute. Thank salute. you. I appreciate real, it. For real. It's like a strong that's woman. Crazy, yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, a strong well, you know. woman and the power of God. Yeah. Well, hey, she real, asked so me. I had my let's be real moment. I had yeah. that. You know, no, I appreciate I it. I don't, appreciate I don't shy it. away. You know what I mean? Yeah. The real yeah. stuff is how we get to know each other exactly. for real. It's cool to be petty, but it's awesome to be real, too. We're not here to judge you. Right. I appreciate that. We can't judge. We can't judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. I judge <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, her a little I judge bit, people. But the story had a good ending. So she yeah, I think she's great. She's cool now. But she was sitting here as a method and all this other shit that she right, was. Right. I wouldn't care what followers she yep, got. I'm like, yeah, you. I will. Mm-hmm. I can do an interview you. with this girl. <laughs> like, no, I'll do the interview. I ain't got a problem being around nobody. You know, I ain't she gonna smelled act like, like chemicals. You know, I ain't gonna act like she ain't just sitting here on some fucking method shit. You know, we right. ain't just sitting here. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, extreme. That's why I said salute. But I was saying, I judge. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You, I just heard you say don't judge. I'm hey. As long as you don't care if people. I ain't judge, God. It ain't right. I don't. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Judge and, me. And do you for sure? Yeah. Judge me on the truth though. Yeah. But, okay. you know. Right. I'm just saying me. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't speak for everybody here. You know. I never you do. I tell y'all this. I speak yeah. for me, Mister. Let's be real. And me, realness. I just I ain't supposed to, but I do. Shit, I ain't perfect. Real is real, real is honestly right. where I would rather hear the ugliest truth than the most beautiful lie. Right, as long as it's real. Shit. If it's real, I fucks with it. Straight up. I mean, we'd rather hear the beautiful lie, but Probably. I don't want to. Like yeah. you know. Right. right. <laughs> So well, I can't use that against you later, though. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I'd rather hear the dirty stuff. <laughs> Yo, but nah, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, all right, back to the uh, content and all this other okay, shit, right? Okay, okay. So, uh, how like the, uh, 
the money and shit go? Like, can you speak on that? Yeah. Is it like, you know, um, like, how that work? Like, out of this, but, yeah. you know, platform. Well, pay. pretty much, as far as TikTok goes anyways, they do got the content creators fund. You have to have at least 10,000 followers before you can apply to be in that. But it is tricky because the very first thing I noticed when I got accepted into the content creators fund, they drop your views significantly because TikTok completely controls like who, who sees your videos. Okay. So once you get to the point where they're going to have to start paying you for those views, they cut your shit in half. And I'm like, why am I doing Damn. 10K views yeah, when I'm literally it. was hitting a million every day? Like, mm. what, like what is happening? So, and then also, realistically, if you want to make, like, a decent, a decent amount of money from the content creators fund, you got to be having shit that's going mega, mega viral every week. I mean, you got to be having videos that hit at least a million views two or three times a week. And that's mm. just for you to make a couple hundred dollars. On TikTok. on TikTok. Where the real money on TikTok is, is going live. When you go live, people can send you yeah, TikTok coins, yeah. which yeah. instantly transfers into real money on your PayPal. And me, personally, the the wish list stuff, I mean, my, my whole house is, like, completely furnished from packages and stuff that my, every single day, I'm opening fan mail on TikTok from stuff really? that people send me. And just flat out money donations. I mean... They have thousands and thousands of dollars. People all came together and paid for me to go to the Sybaris in Chicago just so I could, just because they wanted to see me make content at the Sybaris. And that wasn't TikTok paying me to do that. That was was my followers cash apping me like, here's $100, please go to the Sybaris and make content. So that's where a lot of the money is going to literally come from your supporters supporters, directly. I I just broke my phone like four months ago. One cool ass supporter, shout out, I love you so much. Was like, go down to Boost right now. She bought me a brand new iPhone 11 right then. Like, the love comes from the supporters for real. Look at our Irish. (laughs) There you go with the (laughs) Irish. What's your team, nigga? Michigan, go blue, go baby. Blue. Irish, go, go blue, blue, baby. Y'all know this about there she go. Yo. I'm, I am, man. I'm honestly Midwest. Go dude. blue, Midwest right. dude. So I just really? be one my, you know what I mean. I don't know. I just Michigan, hate Notre Midwest. Dame because everybody loves them and they're just so I mean, great. And because I'm from South Bend, everybody just expects me mm-hmm. to be a Notre Dame supporter. But I was born in Michigan, so well, I'm gonna be 100. I hate Notre Dame because Notre Dame hate niggas. Say it again. Call it what you want. No, they don't. Shit. Go to their clubs. My cousin and them work there. We never, <laughs> yeah, you work in there, motherfucker. That's about the most you're going to do. Try to go to their... You can work hey, there and listen, can't even go to their party. I ain't got clubs. nothing against Notre Dame, okay? I do. I don't. Me? Yo, go blue. They got good food, I think. <laughs> what time of the day do you find the best to post your content? Um, It really... TikTok switches its algorithms up. All of the time. So really, it is whatever the algorithm is. Sometimes it might be, you know, like originally it was you should be posting at least five videos a day. Two of them should be a duet. And you should be posting like between 9.30 and 11.30 in the morning, like 3 and 4 in the afternoon, and then like 8 to 10 o'clock at night. But then they'll have an update or something and the algorithm will switch up and then they'll have it be, you know, like between 12 and 3 in the afternoon. And then this really weird time at like 3 o'clock in the morning. So. Because I post a lot of mine. 3 in the morning. I bet I know what them about. Okay. So that was my next question, but you go with yours first. Nasty. Nasty. Very nasty. Yeah, I'll just say. about 12.30 at yeah. night, and then, you know, it gets, you know, up in yep. the case. Yep. But see, y'all think, like, because I, I was going to ask, but you know, on internet shit, like, would the only fans page be a good option? Like, that's where the money's at. That's, that's where the money's at, where, right? That's where Go I'm sign up and get your OnlyFans really right now. We're being dead <laughs> ass honest out of all of the websites that I create content on. OnlyFans is one of them, and OnlyFans pays me the most money. See, I'm I've made all, like close to sixty thousand dollars on OnlyFans. Oh shit! I'm gonna go work out, man. Y'all gonna find me on. I'm gonna make one. Uh, Don't I got you. Man. I'm gonna work out. Christmas is coming up. My kids need what they need. I'm right. getting me one. <laughs> That's Man. all I'm saying. Yeah. Man, I'm going to give y'all some Christmas. Fuck that. I'm going to yes. pull a little hoochie every night. And granted, that's the whole time since I started, but... I don't I don't really be focusing on my OnlyFans because I don't want to be known as like a porn star. You know, yeah, I have yeah, so yeah. much more that I can Oh, so, so you actually do porn? 
I was on Pornhub, yes. Really? Yes, yes, I was. Oh, they, shit. They, you and your selfie side Sarah is a porn star. Like, Damn. Yeah, <laughs> me and my ex, I have only ever made videos with one dude. We are not together anymore, so I okay. do not make content with anybody else anymore. It mm. wasn't type of, I wasn't really a porn star where I'm just <laughs> making videos with anybody. I know I who it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean, he probably does know who it is, though. Buck for um, a buck. <laughs> Yeah, so... Shout out to... Cuz. <laughs> <laughs> you know who oh, Everybody, shit. everybody, you know, it was a thing. The hood went crazy. <laughs> everybody was it. And he is a well-known person, especially on the <laughs> selfie side, so... Oh, he's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you make some porn. I just got his name covered up, actually. He's my cousin. You make some porn, you're gonna be known. like that, yeah. But that no, was kind of just... Uh, <laughs> That was almost like a precursor to the OnlyFans because we put it out there on Pornhub for free. First of all, Pornhub pays shit. Uh, my shit was getting like 20,000 views. My first check was like $7. And I was Damn. like, I'm not finna open up every part of my body for $7 right. a month. Like, no. Yeah, so nah. then I deleted everything off of Pornhub and I made an OnlyFans page. And when I deleted it, everyone was like, bro, Where'd your videos go? Like, I'm trying to find that one video with all the slobber. Like, how do, where did it go? And I'm like, oh, with all the slobber, she went in detail. <laughs> you caught that too? I caught that. The fuck? <laughs> so you said they pay the most, huh? Slobber. Yeah. No. She's <laughs> giving you ladies tips. Mm, yeah. Listen. Mm. <laughs> I have. You know, like, you know, the slob, more slob, more money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think, that's what they say. If you don't got to wipe his... So like, when you done, you're not doing it right. I had that motherfucker yeah. belly wet. <laughs> no, I, I made a mess. It was trending on Facebook mess. for a minute. Damn. Yeah. Made a mess. That's, oh. And that's just real. And this is all this is all public knowledge. So it, what yeah. would I try to keep this under wraps and be like, no, that's not. When the world knows that was me. The world, the, you know, so it, it is what it is. That's and, what Dewey was always said. Sarah swallows. Yep. <laughs> and y'all don't pay my bills. So... <laughs> My man, y'all know y'all love that movie, man, right? <laughs> y'all knew what I was talking about. That's my favorite movie, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> house Party, and it's House Party first, but That's then it's right. all the scary, scary movies. movies. Right, That's right. Damn it, I gotta be hiding them up. I just, I just had a bitch. Hey, I just had a Dewey moment. That's Classics. all. Uh, I just had a Dewey, Dewey moment. But yeah, OnlyFans, there are, there are people... You know, I'm I stay around about the top ten percent of the content creators on OnlyFans. If you can get into the top one percent or the the point one percent, those are million dollar months. I'm getting me one. Fuck that. It's really I'm hard. It's Only really fans. really hard for men to make money on OnlyFans. No, I'm talking. I'm poor the bitches. Because women get. <laughs> I get a hundred unwanted dick Shit, pics a day I'm hearing motherfuckers getting rich off that. I know so, I can get rich, goddamn it. I can, go, I can pull a bitch from anywhere. I'm good yeah. at that. Like, no. But see, everything, fans, is very, everything is very legal. I know, with, and listen, I bring them home and record. Everything you can't. Everything can is start. very legal with OnlyFans. If you so are you just going to bring a, video, a girl home and record her? If you're going to yeah, post it, you can't. They won't even let you. Yeah, you can't do that. Right. Because to, to have somebody else star in your videos on OnlyFans, they have sick. to have an OnlyFans page, That's too. That's fine. I'll make them and one. You have to, and they, you have to send a picture of their ID and everything. Yeah, and then it. you have to tag them. I'm glad you're telling me. What else you I got to do? That's that's what you got to do. And Take then put notes. in your bank information yeah, and stuff. We're going to do that. I can pull a bitch and do yep. that. I can easily. That thing. That's easy. He wants to be a porn star. Well, for one, I got a crib. These hoes homeless. I could just fake like they can stay with me, but they can't. But nah, you know, bro. Not every out. female's home. Come on, bro. Stop bashing the girls, bro. 80% right. of them. Nah, man. Right. And the 20% that ain't. Uh, you know they are all here watching right now like, and he think he a prize. Why he talk about us like that? Having a crib make you a youth. We know what it is. Right, right. Him. Like we uh, didn't see the car he was rolling in. No, nah, my car ain't shit. They <laughs> on your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> Man, and the sad thing is, I be wanting the same shit. Like, damn, why do y'all think I'm the shit? Like, y'all just go. I done pissed on hoes and shit before. I'm not finna play. Not What's her name? Let's be real yeah. moment. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, what's up? Uh, no, nah, let me do it. <laughs> Only cause they got kids and shit now. And I wouldn't give a fuck. Most Drop that name, it. nigga. No, I'm just playing. Just for views. No, so, do you go live a lot? Or you just I used to. I used to go live all the fucking time. I would go live. I would talk about everything. I would talk a shit about the dude I was dating at the time. I would talk oh, about shit. my porn hub. I did late night lives where people have to ask sex questions like, how you do this? And how do I do that? And how do I approach my spouse and tell them that I want them to do this? And so since I got more into TikTok, I have been going less and less live on Facebook, but I do try to every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you be late going live. How many motherfuckers jump on there and be like, 
Threat, bitch. <laughs> Last. One time I got one time I got spammed and I don't even know how they did it, but they posted You know the, they on there. They posted the link to my live someplace else and all of a sudden my shit got flooded with I'm here for the couch. I wanna buy the couch, put it get naked and get on the couch. Is that the couch you're trying to sell? I'm like, what the hell? They be saying some shit, huh? Yeah. Mm. yeah. They like Dookie in your Stand. hand, show it. <laughs> no, nah, let me go find it. Look, check this out. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all see we've been out here for a minute. Y'all got anything y'all want to get out real quick? Just drop all your tags and all that. Let them all know. Let everything again. Drop it all again. Say what it is. What to subscribe. What to like. What to do. Yo, y'all can hit me up on TikTok. Just Petty. YouTube. Just Petty. Facebook. Jatanya. Petty. Petty. Hey. Ja. Ja. That's J-A-N-T-A-Y-N to the A. Quit playing with her. She okay. from the art. Petty. Hey. Yo, you can find her. So make sure y'all mm-hmm. hit that subscribe, that follow, that like, comment, share, all that. All that shit. All that. All that. Much all love, that. Show the love. love. And Show before we love. get out of here, what you got to say, you know, let them know y'all. You know, know y'all again, know who it is. Sarah B, a.k.a. White Girl. It is Sarah Buck on Facebook. And I do, I got about a six of, this, of them Facebook pages. So feel free Uh-oh. to just follow me on everyone. 574 White Girl on TikTok. 574 White Girl on Instagram. 574 White Girl on YouTube, Snapchat, all of that. 574 White Girl. Can you explain that shirt before we leave or one more game? Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, sure people, dope. people think again, you know, and I don't. I'm not. It's, sure. It is mainly predominantly white people. They feel like when people say Black Lives Matter, that's somehow excluding them, like somehow lifting one up like, against all the matter. other. And they got this energy, like, "What about me? What about me? Like, bitch, what about you? You are mad because you don't have a movement for what? Don't you understand why this is a, is like a thing? So that's why it says, you know, don't be mad that you don't have a movement. Be happy." That you don't need one because, you know. Exactly. Y'all don't need the movie. Everybody treat y'all like y'all matter. You fucking weirdos. But y'all know what I'm saying. Hey, y'all was on another episode of us. Y'all see we did our thing. We got y'all a great kicking moment. Thank you for having me. Thank you for showing up. You hear me? Hey, it's our love. We show our love. We fuck with you. You fuck with us. You hear me? We fuck with who fuck with us. And if you don't, we still fuck with you, baby. You hear me? Y'all That's how real do it. That's how to real do it. Make sure y'all follow, subscribe. So therefore, we finna check out y'all. Hey, click, like, subscribe. Midwest Lane. Tap in, man. Y'all know what it is. And we tuned in. We checking out. I'm Mr. Let's Be Real. It's your boy, Frank Nitty. We out this bitch. Yo. Gang, gang. Fuck with us.